no, a new Falstaff video. That didn't take long. Let's uh, let's enjoy it, shall we? I'll give you my reaction. Changi Airport, Singapore. You know what makes this a great country? Oh yeah. Didn't even have to leave the airport, cunts. Call 45. 6.5%. 7.5. Root in the Philippines. I love the Philippines. It's time to make a more like a video. Let's make it. Wait a minute. That means if Falstaff's in Singapore. Unless that's Singapore, New Jersey, he's out of the country. This might be my time. time. It's time you lug nuts. Make them all like a video. It's come to my attention. False staff's out of the country. And no offense, false staff, you've been kind of letting down the malt liquor community <clears throat> and uh, I imagine maybe letting a couple more people down as well you know people that have you know need more of your focus for instance <sighs> girl comic and B Meyer I don't know I've tried not to express my interest in these two lovely ladies and their interest in uh, the malt beverage. I don't know, I think we had a lot in common with them, but <clears throat> I don't know. You thought hey, maybe you had something going on. But you're out of the country, so you know, it's game on. Let's play some music. When I was younger, this is no joke, I thought Iron Maiden was the greatest band in the universe. And then I saw some statistics that said that uh, other bands outsold Iron Maiden. And I was confused. I was like, if, uh, if they're outselling Iron Maiden, does that mean they're better than Iron Maiden? And I realized, no, it, it didn't mean that at all.
I know it's appropriate <clears throat> when you're taken over from Falstaff to play some ignorant rap. Now it turns out my laptop has a lot of ignorant rap. I was unaware of that. But uh, when I thought how important this moment was, how I needed to seize control from Falstaff Brewing Company, I needed to bring out the big guns. And like I said, Iron Maiden, there's no better band. First off, let's, uh, girl comic, I'd like to address you. I've, uh, wanted to profess, uh, my, my long held per, uh, affection towards you. And, uh, I thought, you know, a lot of people could say it. Uh, but uh, I wanted to do something about it. So I've actually, uh, uh started a comic. I invested in, uh, uh, a Dark Horse Comics here in Oregon. <coughs> And I told them my idea for a, a, a super heroine, uh, kind of an, an embodiment of kind of a, a, a misty darkness. So it seemed threatening, insubstantial, and also, you know, everywhere. And I wanted to have a kind of a heroine that... Uh, that th that fought the good fight, but uh, was not limited to just uh, kind of like almost like a, a Christian ideal. I wanted a heroine that could uh, that could bring it uh, to all evil evil doers and uh, wrongdoers, uh, to right down to uh, uh, a direction that things shouldn't go. And uh, part of what I wanted this uh, this girl comic character to do is uh, is shield um, a, a group of more uh, focused individuals. So uh, she would be the the, pow the power and uh, defense behind a group, and that way, like uh, it can bring other characters to the forefront and uh, highlight uh, different skills, abilities, and mindsets. But it would always become from an authority. Authority from the girl comic, the uh, the dark force, uh, the the kind of misty shield that surrounds uh, the protectors of uh, the of right and uh, the writers of wrong. So basically, what I'm saying, girl comic, is uh, how you doing? Suppose, uh, lug nuts, I should cover sports. Uh, some teams did better than others. My dismay knows no bounds. And, uh, malt liquor. <laughs> Down with home brewers. Which brings me to B. Meyer. B. Meyer, I've noticed that you now are using trash cans, uh, refrigerators, re you know, recycled goods to, uh, to produce your liquor. And uh, as close as I see you getting towards brewing in your bathtub, which is uh, unhygienic and uh, probably would not uh, use union labor, I... Uh, appreciate your kind of apocalyptic take that you have on using recycled goods, scavenged material to, uh, to protect and to grow. Because uh, I think that uh, 
of all the things that are going to be sold and bartered for in the apocalypse, uh, a really decent al alcoholic beverage is going to be way up there. So uh, I wanted to say this to you, B. Meyer. <clears throat> How you doing? Drink malt liquor. <laughs> 